All right, guys, it's time for me to show you the best energy hand cannon in the game. And you're looking at it right here. It's the Nation of Beasts. This is the Last Wish Raid hand cannon. And as you can see, its power goes all the way up to 1360. So it's going to be here for a little while to come. You can see my roll there, triple tap, opening shot, steady rounds, polygonal rifling, stability masterwork, 96 stability on the hand cannon. This is the ultimate max stability beast. Pun intended, because it really is an absolute beast. Now, as I'm sure you're all aware, 140 RPM hand cannons, but a significant bump to their range. So whilst I have max stability, thanks to that range buff, I also have a butt ton more range than I used to. And it's really, really nice. This gun is just buttery, buttery smooth. That's right, I said it again. Buttery smooth. I'll leave a like in the comment section for anyone who says a buttery smooth. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I don't know how else to describe it. It's just so smooth. I think it's the sights, the sound, the overall look. Best looking hand cannon in the game, probably. Best sounding hand cannon in the game, probably. Got the best sights of any hand cannon in the game, probably. Am I right or am I wrong? I'm right. Now, we can take a look here on the top left corner of your screen. You can see the best possible perk rolls for this gun, and it has a very small loot pool, which is actually quite good. I meant to say perk pool, because you're pretty much guaranteed to get a solid roll on this gun, you know, no matter what you get. You can see here the perks here. You've got Outlaw, Opening Shot, Ambitious Assassin, and Zen Moment. Now, Ambitious Assassin is kind of lame, but the other three perks are all really, really good. In the second slot, you've got Kill Clip, Explosive Rounds, Rampage, and Triple Tap. Looking from a PvP point of view, I think Kill Clip's the best one, then followed by Rampage, and finally, you've got Explosive Payload for that extra range. Again, really, really great perks, and you know, you do that raid a couple of times, you get a couple of these to drop. Chances are, you're going to get a solid perk combination. For me, in PvP, the best role would be Opening Shot Kill Clip, followed by Zen Moment Kill Clip, followed by Opening Shot Rampage. They're probably my three that I'd really want to get. I got Opening Shot Triple Tap. Now, when it comes to barrels and stuff like that, I think it's more of a preference thing. You could go for Steady Rounds or you could go for Accurizer Rounds. It depends what you want. And then obviously, same applies to the barrels. On my hand cannon, I've got Polygonal and Steady Rounds and a Stability Masterwork, which is why I have a 96 Stability Roll on this thing and why it feels so buttery buttery smooth. Now another reason why I think the gun feels so good are the hidden stats on the weapon. So again if you look on the top left you can see it has an aim assistance stat of 71 which is pretty damn solid. It's not 96 like Dire Promise but you don't need 96 um, aim assist. You really don't trust me. You're fine. And the best part here is the recoil direction is 95. It's perfectly vertical recoil so there's very little correction needed has great recoil direction has max stability has opening shot for extra range on your first shot at least triple tap to fill up that magazine when you're hitting those triple taps crispy for pve also kind of useful in pvp sometimes it kicks in when you don't even realize it really really nice perk and of course speaking about the benefits of being an energy hand cannon well the benefit is called the Chaperone, aka the best slug shot in the game. It's still the king, it will always be the king of slug shotties, trust me. Heritage, Duality, Bone Chiller, First In Last Out, they're all little pups compared to the original, the OG master, with the OG slug user. Although I'm not on my OG Defender Titan subclass, kind of betraying my uh, original class at the moment. I like to move around quickly guys, I'm sorry. Years of lumbering around like an oaf, my Destiny 2 Titan movement, it feels good to be moving nice and quick. That cryoclasm slide, it just feels oh so, so damn good. And we're going to be focusing on what Stasis has done to the Titans and Titan viability. I have my opinions on it and I definitely want to share those with you. We will be getting into that at some point in the future. In the meantime, though, we're going to be focusing on the crispy gameplay that you can see here. By the way, when you get a we run out of medals in Iron Banner, Lord Saladin goes on one, bro. The guy talks for like 15 minutes. <laughs> and the guy, sounds, he sounds so miserable. Like, yo, why does Lord Saladin sound like he would rather be anywhere else but watching you play Iron Banner? I know PvP is not in a great state, man. But come on, Lord Saladin, a little bit of enthusiasm wouldn't go, wouldn't go amiss. Bungie, man, put some new maps in the game so Saladin stops sounding so bored, you know? Do I sound bored? I hope not. I really hope I don't sound bored. I'm not bored. 
I love this game and I love everybody who supports my content. So I'm going to continue making these videos for you guys. And I also love this hand cannon. It's absolutely buttery smooth. That's right. I said it again. Buttery smooth count. Speaking of buttery smooth, this super is not buttery smooth. It's violent, traumatic, ridiculous, overpowered. And I love it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I have yet to get tired of flying around through the air, smacking people on the head with a big block of ice on my fist. It's bloody brilliant. It is bloody brilliant. Just like the Chaperone and the Nation of Beast is a bloody brilliant pairing. Wouldn't you agree? If you do agree, you've got to hit like and subscribe. It's part of the deal. Okay, guys, th there's a deal here. There's an exchange going on. You watch the video. I make the video. You watch it. Then you like and subscribe. And then you come back tomorrow and you watch the next video. And this time you don't leave a like. Well, actually, no, you do leave a like, but you don't subscribe because you already subbed. Now you've got the bell on. Now you never miss a video. Now you leave a comment. Your boy leaves you a big red heart. Happy days, mate. Happy days. Hope you're enjoying this gameplay in the background. We went a little bit sicko mode at the end here. Not so much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it kind of went from being a hand cannon video to being a shotgun video real quick. You know, it can happen, man. It can happen. Ah, he killed me at the end. Dude, we, I think we only died once or twice in that game. And on top of that, we were close to the 50 streak. Maybe next time, eh? Maybe next time. Need to play a little bit more pedestrian. 21.5 efficiency with the Nation of Beasts. It truly is a beast, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a positive rating. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to come by the Twitch stream, twitch.tv forward slash shake. Peace, peace, peace. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next one.